Are you looking to transform your trading and understand your edge in much more detail? Or well, you want to watch this video? Now we've all heard about backtesting and how important backtesting can be for your strategy. What backtesting allows us to do is to really stress test our strategy and really refine our approach and have a solid understanding of how our strategy works. Now when it comes to backtesting, it's all well and good doing some backtesting, but if you do not collect enough data over a certain period of time, then you're only gonna get so much information about how well your strategy performs over a period of time. So. One thing I like to do is I like to collect as much data as possible. So for example, my DRS strategy, which is a daily rule set strategy, I have collected on just one asset or one pair, Euro USD, two and a half years of data alone, just to test how that strategy works over multiple years. Now you might be thinking, how can we test multiple years worth of data? Because tools like TradingView, we can only go so far back. Now this is where FX Replay comes in. Now FX Replay is an amazing tool to use because we can go back to 2003 all the way on to the one minute time frame. We can select a time period that we want to test. So if we wanted to test a specific month, we can do so. If we wanted to test an entire year, we could then run through the entire year and select a window of where we want the testing to start and where we want it to finish. And some of the information and some of the data that you can collect through your back testing is things like your win rate, how many trades you've taken, your break evens. You can even see lots of information like how many winners you have, what was your best type of win, how long the trades are usually open for, your average risk reward. We can also look at things like the performance throughout the day and which times of day works best for you. So you could then start to narrow down and really focus on a specific area of a trading day for your strategy. Now the screen I'm sharing with you now is a year's worth of backtesting data that I've collected for my strategy. You're more than welcome to pause the video and have a thorough look at the statistics, but this is just more of an example to show you the type of information that you can collect to really truly understand your trading strategy. Now on this analytics dashboard, if we then scroll down, we can see the performance per day. So you may be able to narrow down which particular day best suits your strategy. So for example, with my strategy, Tuesday is my most profitable day. Now we can also see a breakdown of each month of your compounded gains. And I think this is great so you can get an idea of how well your strategy performs month over month. But then moving further down, we can also see a calendar map of how well or how often your trades appear throughout either the month or even throughout the year. Now for me, this is probably my favorite view. The reason this is my favorite view is because it shows me very plainly and clearly that there will be times where there'll be no trades available whatsoever. So let's take this here, for example. There's a nice big gap where there was no trades that fit my plan or fit my trading rules in June of this year. In June of 2023, when I tested this, there was just absolutely nothing that fitted my plan and there was no need for me to try and force a trade. So what this does for my live trading is when I have a period of time where I do not find a trade set up that is suitable and I may still go a week without any type of trade set up or maybe two weeks where something just does not fit my plan, I know that by looking at this type of graph that eventually the following week there may be a setup that arises so let's take this for example there was two days here there was a trade here there was a trade on this day those two were losers the next trade wasn't taken for a, i think it's roughly almost 10 days by this point and then the very next trade was a winner a couple of losses a winner a winner a loss and then everything balances out over a period of time so this is going to give you a better overview of how your strategy is performing how frequently you should reasonably expect to take a trade because we don't need to take a trade every single day some more useful information as well as if we scroll down we can see a radar map where we can look at how often trades are taken in maybe the london session the new york session or even the asia session and we can also look at how profitable those trades are. Is there more of a bias towards trades taken in London? Is there more of a bias for trades taken in New York, for example? And this is where you can start to really hone down and narrow that actually maybe your trades 
and not as profitable when you're trading London, for example. So you think, actually, well, maybe I would just trade New York and have a lay in. Now, when it comes to back testing, back testing is not the holy grail. It's not going to fix all your problems with trading, but it's a great place to really stress test and fully understand the ins and outs of your strategy. So many people will look at a small set of confluences, open up TradingView, and maybe look at the last couple of weeks or couple of months of how those confluences would have played out, not realizing they are maybe just looking at a, a one-off period and then looking at the rest of the year when they start trading live or wondering why their strategy doesn't work because they've not fully stress tested and fully understood how well those confluences really play out. Now, one drawback when it comes to back testing is we cannot test our psychology. And this is the great thing about having our analytics page where we can really dive into the data that has been collected, and really truly understand what is working well for us, what months work well for us, which days work well for us, and also the trading sessions as well. Now, if you are a serious trader looking to really make success within the markets, then you will be backtesting. You will make sure that you fully understand your strategy. Now, backtesting is not where everything ends because once you've finished backtesting, maybe you've collected a year, year of data, maybe you've collected two years, maybe you've collected a decade. What you then want to do is transfer to the live markets, but not trade the live markets and paper trade see how your edge plays out as you are seeing those candles tick over in real time because one of the things we're back testing is if we are looking for a trade setup and we don't have a trade setup in our window so for example this is my trading window here there's no trade setup whilst you're back testing we can quite simply just go to the next day or just simply quickly fast forward the charts until we see something that we are interested in taking now we can't do that in the live market and this is where back testing does have its flaw and where some people do not like backtesting because it doesn't truly represent the live markets and those people are correct but they're also missing out part of the point of backtesting is by looking back on this historical data you can get an understanding of how your strategy will work over certain types of conditions so whilst it's all well and good that we can fast forward the bar replay on fx replay or even on trading view we cannot do this in the real markets so it's important once you have stress tested your strategy by testing historical data, you truly understand which days work best for you, what trading pairs, which trading assets suit your edge the most. We could then start looking at the live markets and start paper trading and just observing how those trades would play out. And as you start to get that data and that understanding that right historically we've looked at past trades on back testing now we're looking at live data as the markets are progressing you're going to start to build more and more confidence in your ability as a trader so often i get a lot of messages from people saying they are afraid or they have fomo or they just don't want to take a trade because they are scared they're going to be wrong now back testing and forward testing is something that is truly going to help you and it's something that has changed my trading for the better now, before the likes of FX Replay came around, I was just using the replay function on TradingView. Now, when it comes to FX Replay being released, I was able to go back over a larger period of time and really scrutinize my edge and really refine things in much more detail. Now, just this page alone, we can see how much data has been tested on FX Replay. So different types of strategies. I've been looking at the DRS strategy is something that I've narrowed down and honed in on on FX Replay. And we can see the different strategies that are formed on the side here. So for example, I have DRS where I've tested just Euro USD on 2022. I've then looked at UK 100. So UK 100 is a new asset for me to trade on the DRS, but I've looked at different scenarios where I would look at maybe the three minute time frame, or I'd look at the five minute time frame. And throughout testing, I did find that the five minute time frame was a good sweet spot. I've also tested our current year and I'm keeping that as something that will be added to as time goes on. Now, just to be transparent, I do not have any affiliation with FX Replay. It's something I've used almost since they first released and I've been using it probably on a weekly basis ever since they have been launched. And it's a platform that has really helped take my trading to the next level and really give me greater confidence in my trading ability. And like I said, I'm not affiliated with them, 
but they were kind enough to provide me with a discount code for, for my audience to use if they want to take their trading to the next level. So feel free to use this code just here and that should hopefully save you a few quid when it comes to checkouts. So if I was gonna leave you with some advice, I would strongly advise you to take back testing seriously gather as much data as you can, journal every trade that you backtest, and then you will start to notice patterns of what's working well, what is not working well for you. Scrutinize the analytics data provided on FX Replay. And when you are comfortable with the edge that you have either built or that you have tested, look at the live market, start paper trading, and start looking at how things are progressing as the markets develop. And from there, you can then start looking at transitioning to trading your edge live. Now, trust me, it sounds like a long-winded process, but this is a much shorter process than it is from hopping from one strategy to another and wasting all that time and spending years trying to find something that is going to work because someone else has done the testing for you and you're just trying to copy along. Now, this is from personal experience. Now, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And feel free to share with anyone you feel would benefit from this. I will leave a link in the description for FX Replay and if you have any questions feel free to reach out but until then I'll see you in the next video.